Hello and welcome to English for Citizenship, brought to you by the Springvale Learning and Activities Centre, English for Citizenship. This is the second part of European Settlement. If you remember from the last movie, that we talked about the convicts who were sent to the colony of New South Wales in Australia. Let's just do a quick review of the last movie. The first Europeans to arrive in Australia were from Great Britain. The first Europeans to arrive in Australia were from Great Britain. There is a picture of a convict. And here is the date that you need to remember. On the 26th of January, 1788, 26th of January 1788, the first fleet of 11 ships arrived from Great Britain to form a new settlement in New South Wales. So the first fleet, here's a picture of the first fleet, it is a group of 11 ships that sailed from Great Britain in the continent of Europe to form a new settlement or a place to live in the colony of New South Wales, New South Wales in Australia. Now after they arrived in New South Wales, they had a man who was in charge of the new colony. He was called a governor, a governor, and his name was Captain Arthur Philip. Here is a painting of Captain Arthur Philip. Let's read the sentence. The first governor of New South Wales was Captain Arthur Philip. Philip. This here says Philip. Captain Arthur Philip. He was the first governor, governor of New South Wales in the new colony in Australia. People say that Captain Arthur Philip did a good job of making the colony successful. So that means he did well at ruling the colony. So a governor is a ruler. He was in charge of the colony. He was a successful governor. Successful. That means he did a good job. Well done. He did a good job of ruling the colony. He was the first governor of New South Wales and his name was Captain Arthur Philip. Captain Arthur Philip. Okay, after the first fleet um, and after the colony started growing with more convicts being sent, Great Britain started to send free settlers free settlers. 
So these were people who came to live in Australia who were not convicts. They were free. They chose to come. Let's read this sentence. After that, free settlers came from Great Britain and Ireland. So here is the countries of Great Britain and Ireland. And they came to Australia by choice. They were free. They wanted to come. Here is a picture of the colony of Sydney in New South Wales growing. British migrants were encouraged to move to Australia. People were encouraged to move from here to Australia. Free settlers. So here's our new words. Free settler. That is someone who is not a convict. Free to come to Australia to live. A migrant is a person who moves from one place to another. Migrant. So migrants came from Great Britain and Ireland to Australia. They were the first free settlers. They came from Great Britain and Ireland. Two countries here came to Australia by choice. They were free. After a while, in the year 1851, remember that date, 1851, gold was discovered in New South Wales and Victoria. Here is a picture of gold. And here is a man digging for gold. They found gold in the ground. Gold was discovered in New South Wales and Victoria in the year 1851. Lots of people around the world heard about the gold. Chinese people came to dig. Here is a picture of Chinese people who had come to Australia to dig for gold. Let's read this sentence. Chinese people were the first large group of non-Europeans to migrate to Australia at this time. So when gold was discovered in 1851, many Chinese people came to live in Australia and dig for gold. So if we go back up to our map, first of all in Australia, there were indigenous Australians, then convicts came from Great Britain to Australia, then free settlers from Great Britain and Ireland came to Australia, free settlers, then after gold was discovered in 1851, here is China, people came from China to Australia, from China to Australia. They were the first group not from Europe, from China, to come to Australia. And because 
there were many, many people. The population of Australia more than doubled. So here's an arrow that's showing you many, many people now live in Australia. Population means how many people live in a place. So the population of Australia more than doubled up many, many people because of many Chinese people who came to look for gold in 1851. That was called the gold rush. People rushed to Australia to dig for gold. How did you go? Let's try some practice test questions. See if you can remember the right answers. Number one, who was the first governor of New South Wales? Who, that means a person who, was the first governor, governor is ruler of New South Wales. Here are some names. Which one is the name of the first governor? Is it A, George Reed, or B, Sir Edmund Barton, or C, Captain Arthur Phillip, or D, none of the above. None of the above means not that one, not that one, not that one, a different one. That's what none of the above means. Was it one of these? The first governor of New South Wales? How did you go? Captain Arthur Phillip is the right answer. He was the first governor of New South Wales. Okay, here is another question. This is true or false? You have to circle true or circle false. Which one? True means right, false means wrong. Here is the sentence. Captain Arthur Phillip made New South Wales a successful colony. Remember, successful means a good job. Did Captain Arthur Phillip do a good job ruling the colony? True or false? How did you go? True. He did a good job. Well done. Let's try number three. When was gold discovered in Victoria and New South Wales? When? When is asking me for a time or a date. When? When was gold? discovered. Which year? A. 1851. B. 1951. Or C. 1788. When was gold first discovered? This one. 1851. The gold rush. Good. Number four, which migrants not from Europe was the first large group to come to Australia? The first large group to come to Australia who were not from Europe, not from Europe. Where were they from? The group of migrants who came to Australia, not from Europe. Were they A, Chinese, C, Indian, 
Indian, C, British, or D, American? Which country did they come from? The first large group to come to Australia, not from Europe. They were Chinese. Chinese people came when gold was discovered. That was the first group to come to Australia, not from Europe. The last question is another true or false. True is right, false is wrong. After the gold rush, Australia's population declined. After the gold rush, Australia's population declined. Remember the gold rush was when gold was discovered. Population means how many people declined means went down. Did Australia's population go down after the gold rush or did it go up? Did we get more people in Australia or less people? More went up or down? It is this one. Australia's population did not decline, it increased or went up. Australia got bigger after the gold rush. Okay, well done. Let's just remember things from today. The first governor of New South Wales was Captain Arthur Phillip. He did a good job and made the colony successful. Then free settlers came from Great Britain and Ireland. Free settlers were people who came to Australia by their own choice, not convicts. Then in 1851, gold was discovered in New South Wales and Victoria, and many Chinese people came to live in Australia, and the population went up. Well done. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time.